Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and you can call me Courts. Um, we did a DIY today on how to fail at DIYs. <laughs> I'll be taking you through a journey of self-expression and self-reflection. <laughs> I really don't know how much more I can talk about it, so please just witness the following events unfold. I'm gonna be trying to dye my hair my natural color because I have headshots and I can't be having purple hair for that. I always get myself in these situations. If I look exhausted, it's because I am. I woke up at 4 a.m. for no particular reason except for the fact that I was having a hair color fever dream because it's my nightmare to accidentally dye my hair red, which has happened on many occasions and I hate it. Basically, my goal is to get this purple out of my ends. It's really the only spot that's purple left. The, the midsections are like fading out to like a pinky red, which is like, whatever, it's fine. But what I'm gonna have to do is strip the color out with um, like a fancy, what is what is that thing called? What's it called? I don't know, I threw it away. Uh, Eye on something. Eye on something. Well, I'm gonna try and find the package. Should be <laughs> So yeah, this is the hair color remover to get the purple manic panic out of my ends. Okay, yeah, so this, it says make a gel. And so it looks pretty jelly. Trev's using one of his cooking, what do you call that? This is a squeeze bottle. A squeeze bottle. Yeah. Oh, look it, you can lick it off your finger. Uh, nope. Oh my gosh. So the biggest struggle about this is that I'm gonna have to like put my hair in a plastic bag and then apply heat to it. This is not a salon. I don't know how I'm going to apply heat to it. I think I'm just going to have to blow dry my hair in a bag. <laughs> Thank you, babe. <laughs> yeah, so that's the plan. Apply a processing cap and expose to heat for fucking 15 to 45 minutes. And by processing cap, we mean Safeway bag. Right? Um, this was my first plan of attack to get the color out of my hair. The internet strongly favored dandruff shampoo, anti-dandruff shampoo, and vitamin C. So I spent an unnecessary amount of money on that because I couldn't find that yesterday. And now I found it in a different Sally's, so we're gonna try it and uh, yeah. Is the same way they get to melt to your hair? Man? No. <laughs> you have to apply heat to it for fucking 40 minutes. No, I'm gonna do like 20 minutes of blow drying. That's gonna suck. It's gonna like vacuum it to your head. No, it's not. That's not how blow dryers work. They're hot. <laughs> Trev's really worried about the Safeway bag on my head, but I feel like it'll be fine, right? I think it'll be fine. What are you gonna blow dry it for 20 minutes? Yeah. Trev's just broken the news to me that I have to wash my freaking hair. I'm sorry. That's not part of the plan. I'm quite literally soaked. There was no point to that at all. Bending over the bath is like the worst way to wash your hair. It's uncomfortable. It is hard. Just get naked. Just don't be like me. Just get naked. Much better. Now that we are in our trusty justy, I can get started. Really, really. Justin has been through many a hair dye with me. If you can't tell, there's like bleach. We've been through some stuff. We have. Ooh, uh, uh. I'm gonna start applying this um, color remover now. Let's get out of the way. This is the color remover. Now I have to blow dry my hair for 15 to 20 minutes. There's already purple kind of pigment in the sink there, so I'm not gonna do it for too long. I think just 15 minutes should do it. Okay, so I've just blow dried it for about, I would say half an hour. It was pretty close to half an hour. I think the plastic bag started to melt on my head. What? So, <laughs> yeah, it smells weird in here. I'm gonna stop. Um, the ends oh are a little bit purple still, but I'm just fine with it. Let's just wash it out and see what happens. And I feel like I wanna just dye it all right now because I'm already in here, but we'll see. We'll see after this. <laughs> 
I just washed it all out and um, basically there's like a little bit of purple left but it's for the most part back to it's like golden ombre which we're gonna say goodbye to so hello brunette hair note the fear in my twitching eyes <laughs> it's been a while but i'm sure it'll be fine it won't be i was gonna wait until tomorrow but i just decided that um i can't i can't i have no patience why is she so impulsive though like why so my dumb ass started mixing um without even filming but so basically you get the the color developer. No, this is not the developer. This is the actual color. And then you put it in with the developer. Oh, that's, that's the developer. Um, you mix those together because they're approximately the same amount and it's a one-to-one -one ratio. You mix them up, it smells like shit. And then you put some of this in if you want your hair to be really soft. Absolute booster, perfection. Perfection check complete. If you know, you know, you know. I wanna do the pre-color treatment, um, which I forgot that I wanted to do this. So I'm gonna quickly slap this in my hair, then I'm gonna start applying my magic potion. All right, see you on the other side. This is my result, you guys. Um, if you can't tell by how puffy my eyes are, it's because I was crying. <laughs> I have given myself many a hair crisis in my lifetime. You think I've learned my lesson by now? I really didn't expect the color to go this dark. I know it's not like the ugliest thing ever, but it is quite uneven. Um, let me fill you in. My boyfriend and I started yelling at each other because I was trying to get him to help me do the back of my head. I'm like, I'm like, brush down, it'll be easier. And he's like, I am brushing down. I'm like, no, just brush down. And then he wasn't brushing down. And then he got mad and then I got mad. And then I was like, you know what? Screw it, I'm just done with this. And I washed my hair out um, after letting it sit for 30 minutes and then I blow dried my hair and had a mental breakdown. So that's what you missed. Something inside me was like, don't dye your hair. You're gonna hate it. Don't do it, don't do it. But I needed to get that purple color out all for my headshots. I needed to get the purple out. That was my only goal. And I thought if I dye my hair one even color, it'll be done with. And then I won't have to touch it for ever, ever again, ever. <laughs> I'll just be able to enjoy my natural color before I go gray and then I'll just be having to deal with hair color again. But until then, I just wanted to enjoy my natural color. People in my family notoriously go gray at a very young age. So i am only got like a short life expectancy. I've got like, I've already seen some gray. So I think I have like maybe two or three years left of my natural bliss. And I really just wanted to soak that up. So me being the me that I am, I called the highest rateest closest salon near me and ask them if they can help me wash some of it out or at least fade it or at least I don't know so I'm going back to the salon today I'm gonna to go spend an unnecessary amount of money on a professional to help me make it lighter because there's just no way I will be comfortable sitting like this for the next year the biggest bummer is the fact that I've spent so much money and I could have just gone to a salon in the first place so the funniest thing is that it's been like five years of this for me. Like I've just been bouncing between blonde and brunette and once blonde was fried in my hair, like I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get my natural color out and now I'm just shit all over that idea. Honestly, I can still see a bit of purple in it. I just really hope that my hair doesn't fall out. Wish me luck. $200 at the salon later, we have almost an identical result. Now, the lighting in this room has um, significantly dimmed since 11 a.m. this morning. So that's what it looked like. This is what it looked like. It doesn't look like much, but the highlights really made me feel like I wasn't just like one tone brunette, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that I have very fair skin. So it kind of makes me look washed out. And not only am I super fucking poor now, I did retail therapy afterwards. That's better. I just feel so bad. I just, I don't wanna, I don't wanna look at that. I don't wanna look at that. I don't wanna look at that. I'm smiling because I'm in pain, actually. 
I did a pretty good job of getting the brown applied by myself, but now that my lovely Korean friends have given me some highlights, it just looks like, it just looks like my hair. And that's what we want. So I'm happy, I'm poor, very poor. So please share this video so I can get monetized faster. <laughs> Broke and happy with my hair, so. I was just taking my selfies for my thumbnail. I just wanna say I was feeling myself and so that's a good sign. Like, if you don't like something about yourself, you can change it. And even if you spend a stupid amount of money on your hair or plastic surgery, like whatever makes you confident, whatever makes you feel best, whatever makes you feel comfortable in your own skin, whatever makes you wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and go, she's pretty fucking cool. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And that's that on that. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you guys for checking this video out. I hope you learned something. I definitely learned something. If you have a moment, I would love it if you just hit those like and subscribe buttons or even just that little notification one because I don't know. I don't know if people actually use that, but I know I know. So if you're one of those people, maybe try and use it because I'm not sure if it even works. You can let me know. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys on Saturday. Bye.